Welcome to Learn Medical Spanish. Today I'll be going over another anatomy section. This one's about the head and the face area. And this overlaps a little with the anatomy overview that I did previously on the podcast. But there will also be some new terms, so you can kind of review the old ones and learn some new ones if you want to. And I do have some similar content in my CME course. And if you want to learn more about that, I'll put a link in the podcast episode description as well as the video description on YouTube. So as usual, I'll start by sharing phrases in English first, and then I'll give you a chance to think about the translation for a couple seconds. Then I'll say it twice in Spanish, so you can repeat it after me each time that I say it in Spanish. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So here's the first word, head. So how do you say head in Spanish? La cabeza. La cabeza. And throughout this lesson, I'll be using the word the, the definite article or the in front of the word, so that you can get used to it, because they use those articles a little more often in Spanish, and it helps you learn the gender of the word as well. So la cabeza. Next, brain. El cerebro. El cerebro. Skull. El cráneo. El cráneo. So there will be a lot of words like that that are cognates, meaning they sound kind of similar in English and Spanish. In this case, of course, it sounds like cranium. Um, as opposed to skull. So a lot of times it'll sound similar to a synonym. That's really a super common thing you run into when you're learning Spanish. Okay, next is face. La cara. La cara. Hair. El pelo. El pelo. Ear, meaning the internal ear or the functional ear that you use for hearing. El oído. El oído. Next is the ear, but meaning the external ear, the part you can see on the outside of the body. La oreja. La oreja. Eye. El ojo. El ojo. And for bonus points, how would you say eyes, plural? Los ojos. Los ojos. Eyelid. El párpado. El párpado. Eyebrow. La ceja. La ceja. Nose. La nariz. La nariz. Sinus. El sinus. El sinus. Two quick comments about this one. First, you'll notice it's spelled exactly the same in English and Spanish, but you just got to use the correct pronunciation. And in a previous episode, I taught you how to pronounce any word just by looking at it in Spanish. So you just got to know those vowel sounds and those consonant sounds, and you can just put it all together. Second, uh, 
a lot of times just by knowing the anatomy, you can learn how to say the pathology as well. So of course the word, this is the word for sinus, but then the word for sinusitis is sinusitis. So you're just adding a few letters, adding that suffix to that word. Okay, so next word is mouth. La boca. La boca. Lips. Los labios. Los labios. For bonus points, how would you say the lip? Singular. El labio. El labio. Teeth. Los dientes. Los dientes. And again, how would you make that singular? El diente. El diente. Tongue. La lengua. La lengua. Throat. La garganta la garganta and this is another good example of how you could kind of use this in your medical history or talking about um, actual pain or problems when you talk about a sore throat it's pain in the throat so you'd say dolor en la garganta and then so you could ask somebody do you have tiene dolor in la garganta. So you can start building those sentences once you know the anatomy. Next is chin. La barbilla. La barbilla. There, I'm sure there are other ways to say chin. It's probably kind of regional, but so if you know a different way then of course that's fine. <laughs> cheek. And I'm going to give you two different ways to say cheek here. La mejilla. La mejilla. Or alternatively, el cachete. El cachete. Neck. El cuello. El cuello. So if you want to see some more dialogues or some dialogues that are for ER providers, I've got a playlist there for you if you're on YouTube. And there's also a video link on the screen right now that it talks about my CME course if you want to learn more about that. And if you're on the podcast, you can find similar information just by scrolling down the podcast list and looking in your episode description. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time on Learn Medical Spanish.